let's understand the interaction effect when the effect of one iv is observed with the level of another iv so as the name represents we have to consider one independent variable or one factor with the other factor and therefore we observed the effect of one factor or one iv on the level of another iv remember that factorial designs are very unique and best for showing interaction and for finding interaction between different variables it is the charm of factorial design that most of the interesting results come from this interaction between the variables so if the effect of one is not influenced by the other variable then there is no interaction but if one factor or one independent variable is influenced by the other variable then this means there is interaction we will understand this from a diagram let us learn how to find interaction so we have two ways to find interaction the first is that can we predict the fourth cell mean from the mean of the other three cell means which means that if we have four cells and we hide the one of the cell so can we predict from the three cells what will be the value in the fourth cell if we can predict this then this means that there is no interaction because we can guess the value but if we cannot guess the value if the value is something different then this means that this value is affected by it is influenced by the other variable and because of the influence of other variable we cannot predict and we have a new value we have a different value in that particular cell we will understand this from again a diagram the second way to find interaction is to compare the mean difference in any individual row or column with the mean difference in other rows or column so if the size and direction of the difference in one row are the same or the column is the same then there is no interaction so what we will do here is that we will find the difference in the means of the rows and again we will find the difference in the means of the columns if we are getting the same values then this means that there is no interaction but if we are getting different values then this means there would be interaction so let us look at this factorial design in which we have the four cells so the mean in the first one is 20 the mean is again 20 in the second cell the mean is 10 and again the mean is 10 in the fourth column so if i can hide any of the four cell let's suppose i hide this cell so can i presume or can i predict the value in the fourth column so i can see in the first cell the mean is 20 and again in the second cell the mean is 20 in the other cell the mean is 10 so if i follow the same process this means i should have a mean of 10 here so therefore i have rightly predicted the mean here and therefore this means there is no interaction if i come towards the next example so the mean is 10 in the first cell it's 30 in the next cell which means that the mean has changed by 20 so if we look at the third cell which is 20 so if i add 20 with this i get 40 which means i can predict the value in the four cell if i look at the three cell values so again we don't have an interaction here if we can plot these values on a graph so we have to look at the lines of the graphs if the lines are parallel this means there is no interaction so we can see that the lines in both of these diagrams are parallel and therefore there is no interaction but if we look at the main effect then we can see that for factor a we have a main effect because the mean are not the same is 20 in the first row and it's 10 here therefore there is a change in the values therefore there is a main effect but there is no difference in the means here which means for factor b there is no main effect if i look at the second example so the mean is 20 and again the next mean is 30 therefore they are different so there is a main effect due to factor a and when we look at factor b so the mean is 15 and the next mean is 35 again when we subtract them so we get some value so again there is a main effect due to factor b so factor a and factor b has a main effect but there is no interaction effect and now let us look at this example so if i hide the four cell so the mean here changes from 10 to 20 which means the mean has increased by 10 so this means that if i have a mean of 20 here so this shall also increase by 10 here so i should have a value of 30 here but when i look at the mean it is 10 which is different from what i predicted and therefore there is an interaction effect 
because I have not rightly predicted the value of the fourth cell. It can be also found from the second method as well. So if we find the difference in the means in the rows and column, so if I subtract 10 from 20, so 10 minus 20, I will get minus 10. But here if I subtract 20 from 10, so I will get plus 10. So as the values are not the same, it's minus 10 here and it's plus 10 here. Therefore, the direction is not the same, it's different. And therefore, we have an interaction effect here. Another example to understand the interaction effect. So the first one, if I hide the fourth cell, so the mean in the first cell is 80, it's 70 in the second. Therefore, the mean has changed by 10. So if I look at the third cell 70, so the mean should also change by 10. So I should have a 60 here, but I have 80 here, which means I have wrongly predicted the value in the fourth cell. Therefore, there is an interaction effect. And because of the interaction effect, I was not able to predict. And therefore, these values, this particular independent variable has caused this value to change. So if I use the second method, so 80 minus 70, I get plus 10. And for the second row, 70 minus 80, I get minus 10. So because these two are different, therefore there is an interaction effect. Let us come to this example where we have 28 and 28. Therefore, 28 minus 28 becomes 0. But if I subtract 12 from 28, I get minus 16. So because these two values are not the same, therefore there is an interaction effect. Let us look at some more examples to understand interaction effect. So in this diagram, I have two factors. One is the gender, which is male and female. And the second is the two groups, which is the experimental and the control group. So the mean of the male is 60 and control group, the mean for the male is 40. And similarly, we have the means for the female in the experimental and control group. So if I plot these values on this graph, so this is how we get this bar graph. So if I... So if I find the midpoint of each of these bars and then combine them, so the blue represents the experimental group. So if I draw a line here and for the control group, I again draw a line from one control group towards the second control group. So I can see that these two lines are parallel or they appear to be parallel and therefore there is no interaction. So this is what we will obtain if we draw lines on those bar charts. Now I have changed the values in another experiment. Again, if I make a lines to connect these bar graphs, so let us find a central point for the experimental group and the central point for the control group and similarly the central point for each of the bars. So if I now connect the two control groups, so I have draw the line which is here and if I make a line from the experimental group towards the next experimental group, so this is what I will obtain. So I can see that the two lines have crossed here. So as they have crossed here, this means that we have an interaction effect here. So this is how we will obtain the lines if we draw the lines between the bars. What 